Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for the end of November. It is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're gonna get into your recent past, your current energy, and the near future, and then we'll take a peek at your person, whoever's on your mind, and yours energy, and your energy. <laughs> So for everyone who is returning, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. I hope you'll stay. I am available for personal readings if you'd like one of those. The information's in the description box below or in my about section on my channel. Okay, so in the recent past, we have the Four of Wands in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles and the Judgment card. So whenever we do this, it could go back a little bit further than just the recent past because the energy is probably still with you. Even if you've left a situation behind, sometimes those things linger. Because we're in a full moon, we're doing a lot of releasing. This is a powerful full moon eclipse. So a lot of stuff, again, these are happening and it's going to be different for everybody at different times. But there's something coming up for you guys around long-term relationships and waiting to see if things are going to go in the direction that you hope for. I think some of you have given up hope that either you can work on a relationship or that something is going to happen, or maybe you're just a little bit more patient now than you used to be about what's going to happen as far as your settling down. Sorry, a cat hissed at another cat. All right, so you could be hissing at somebody. In other words, upset because things didn't turn out the way you wanted, or maybe there was some frustration around um, the direction that you wanted things to go. All right, let's get into your current energy. So we have the world, which is, a, that's amazing because that means there is a cycle that's closing out. We have the nine of wands in reverse and then the six of pentacles. In the near future, we have the wheel of fortune in reverse with the magician and the two of cups in reverse. And then the overall energy is the emperor in reverse. So I just felt a little bit of a defeated type of energy. So it, actually, you know what I like about that card? And I just lost it because I started to shuffle. The Emperor in Reverse just says that there's a need to release a type of control. Either you feel like you don't have control of something or there's a need to release it. So in this case, I'm going to say maybe there's a little bit of releasing the reins. And it could be around what your love life is going to look like, what your partnerships have looked like in the past, um, how you want the future to look, things like that. So with the Four of Wands in reverse, it could be disappointment as well. With the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, I think you just got tired of waiting and wondering. And that's a good thing because if you're releasing some of those energies or if there were disappointments in past relationships or marriages, it's like letting go of even the thought processes of it. Just releasing that energy and saying, you know what, I'm just going to trust that what's meant for me is going to come for me. Um, being aware that you've been learning lessons is one of the biggest steps you can possibly take. So if you finally have come to a place where you understand, okay, these were the reasons that I had to have these relationships, that's what's going to push you forward into a more healthy, happy, long-lasting relationship if that's what you desire. So judgment in reverse. You may have felt like at times you made poor judgment, but please, I love you guys all so much. And I just want you to understand there's never a mistake that you've ever made. And beating yourself up over a choice isn't going to help you. It was part of what you had to experience to learn. That's what we're here for. We're here to learn these lessons. So I hope that you don't feel judged by other people or judging yourself. Because really the most pain you can do to yourself is to judge yourself. Try to relieve some of that angst from you. It's old conditioning that's just trying to work its way out of your body and find a way to release so that you can work into this new age of Aquarius with everyone else. It's really difficult to shift. I don't think anybody really talks about the fact that we've been in such a process for 280 years. So that is ancestral stuff, right? So you come into this life knowing that this is what you're going to experience, but it's not easy. And you guys took on that responsibility of shifting from one particular age to a new one. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of releasing. So without getting too, too deep into that, I hope that you guys are being easy on yourselves and not judging yourselves for having, you know, gone through the things that you've gone through. All right. So 
in the current energy, this is what you're actually going through now. So you feel this transformation happening through this full moon. I'm sure that you've released a lot more emotions, things that you've probably had buried for a really long time that you didn't even realize um, are coming to the surface, which is going to help you shift out of that energy. Now, the wounded warrior is in reverse. So there's a little bit of that stuff that's still there. When he's in the upright, he tends to leave those things behind. And there's still a little bit of the energy of, I don't know how not to give. And it's difficult to talk to people who are natural givers. Cancers, Capricorns, Tauruses. There are just certain signs, Scorpios. There's several in the Zodiac, Aries even. A lot of them that really do genuinely give. And I think this is just your solid nature. I think part of you has a hard time letting go of that. And that's what I think is being worked on currently. So if you feel a lot of resistance or um, physical, I want to say physical pain in your body, things that's resistance in a sense, and it's also a part of releasing. So please take your salt baths if you have time. Do things that are going to really support your body right now because going through this shift is going to be difficult. So anyway, let's get back to this. This is your natural nature to give to other people. So you're shifting out of, here. it starts here, Anything that keeps you bound to the past conditioning where you were basically told or shown that the only way you got love was to overgive. Now, that is not the case. You are meant to be loved in the way that you desire to be loved. And you're also meant to have things balanced in your life. And that's what I feel like you're shifting into. You're going to experience that kind of love. Now, in the near future with the Wheel of Fortune... In reverse with the Magician and the Two of Cups. It, whether you're in a relationship or not, this is saying where things have not gone in your favor in the past and relationships have not worked out, they're asking you to really focus on manifesting what you desire. Even if you're with somebody currently and you have a feeling that this relationship can work, one of the most important things you could possibly do at this point um, in this transition is to be very clear with somebody up front how you want to be treated, what you expect in a relationship. The biggest problem we have is that we don't show who we truly are. You can't teach somebody how to treat you in the beginning of a relationship and then flip the script later and say, oh, well, but I want my needs met too. So you got to show up that way. We were conditioned early on, no offense to the guys, but women were conditioned early on to have to impress and have to do all these things and be all these you know, just like men conditioned to support and all those things are falling away. So now they're saying, figure out who you are now at this point in your life, at this transition, after you change this cycle and decide what you really want from a relationship. Doesn't matter how old you are. If you're in your 20s and you don't want to settle down, get married and have kids, cool. Manifest a partner that wants the same things. But don't go into things expecting because you like somebody to say, oh yeah, I'm okay with that. And then shift it later and expect it to work. So I think this is just really teaching you to allow yourself to desire the things that you want and know you deserve them. Okay. Let's take a peek at the four of wands with the seven of pentacles in reverse. Okay, so we have the strength in reverse. So yes, I, I feel like this has definitely drained your energy a bit, but you are going to come out the other side of this. It can be difficult to have readings that don't always feel very positive. Good things are always going to be happening. They're in little bits right now as we're working through this tough energy. So everybody's readings are going to be a little bit tough right now. So the Eight of Swords, these are things that kept you trapped and exhausted in the past. So releasing of those is going to be so much better for your health, uh, your mental health, your physical health, and everything else. So you're shifting out of that energy, which is great. I hope that you, excuse me, I have a little bit of a hiccup. I hope that you guys are coming to a place where you feel like it doesn't matter what other people think about where I am in my life. This is my journey. And if they don't like it, they can F off. I don't care what their title is. I don't care who they represent in my life. I am a soul having a human experience and Nobody gets to judge me but whoever or whatever you believe in. And if you feel that's even, you know, considered allowed judgment, all, you know, that's fine. It doesn't matter what you believe in or what you choose to feel comfortable being judged by. But people here don't have the right to judge you. 
All right, the world and the nine of swords, and then we have the two of wands. Beautiful. See, that's when things start to open up. It really does. If you have felt, let me, let me start over for a second with this part. If you have felt truly confined in your experience right now, Capricorns are going through a really, really, really tough time. I tell you guys that every time we do a reading, this is saying that the current energy is doing all of these things, releasing all of these things so that you can see how the future is going to look, how different it's going to look from what you've experienced up until this point. And they want you to be very aware of the fact that you have instinctively known or instinctively felt like you had to overgive in order to receive love. And that's not the case. So you're shifting out of that energy. And then the six of cups comes in reverse. So in the upright, he's overgiving, right? Everybody's coming to him, asking him for things. He's always readily available. And in this deck, it's in reverse. Perfect, which means you're going to see how much better it can be. Learning to accept from other people can be really difficult when you've always been the giver. Relaxing into people aren't going to need to control me because that's what it feels like. If somebody's giving, then it's like, oh, they want something in return. In this case, it's not. It's the balance between you and another person and that equal give. You, don't, you shouldn't have to fight for somebody to give back to you. And I feel like you guys have experienced a lot of that where your partners have not naturally. And it's a part of your growth process. Yes, what you're here to learn. But now you get to experience it from a different perspective. All right. And then the six of wands comes out right after that and the magician, which I love. That means total victory. So if you've met a person that is now mirroring that kind of energy back to you, it says, yes, you've learned that and you desire, you have decided I'm better than that. I'm not going to allow people to continue to take from me without expecting naturally in return in some way equal give and take is what I'm getting at anyway there's the manifesting card again so the magician just says you're making magic you're making things happen and the more confident and sure you are the more you're going to make happen you're going to turn that wheel around the only reason things haven't shifted in that direction completely just yet is because you're still in manifestation mode but the six of wands just says there is complete and utter victory and I feel like this is really around what you want and expect in your partnerships, friendships, family ships, whatever it is that's important to you in your life. Because the Two of Cups can represent any of the above. All right, so let's look at the Magician and the Two of Cups. We've got the Ace of Pentacles in return, or in return, in reverse. All right, so there's an opportunity that's going to be coming up for you. I don't feel like it has shown itself yet. If you're aware of this, then you know that it's coming, but it hasn't just yet. I feel like that's also something you're manifesting. If you have a desire to shift in your work location, I don't feel like that opportunity is coming just yet, but don't lose hope because when it's in reverse, it just means that you're not aware of it or it just hasn't happened yet. This is what I feel like you're focused on as well is new opportunities in your life, whether it be in relationships or something else in your life. It could be that you just want to start a pottery class or doing something that feels great to you. I just saw somebody going to a gym and swimming. Whatever it is that feels really great to you, I feel like that's going to be an opportunity. It could be that in the past you didn't have the resources or maybe right now you're trying to be careful with money, but you're going to be okay because as these things start to shift and you start to work into 2022, your energy is going to change and you're going to have more you're going to feel more comfortable in trusting that it's okay to spend money on certain things. It's okay for me to take care of me, to do things that I love. I don't have to take care of everybody else first before I give myself whatever's left over. You're going to be able to actually experience the things that you want because you can. All right, I'm going to pick this up and then we are going to look into whoever's on your mind. So think about that person for just a moment and we'll get into their energy. So I've been saying this in all my videos, whatever card seems to want to sit as I pick these up, I say is extremely important. So the seven of pentacles, this is you at times feeling a little bit frustrated, probably as you're watching things shift and change. I can imagine if you're feeling held back or like things have just not gone as quickly, moved as quickly as you'd like them to, it's still working. It's still moving. Every day is still another step towards what it is that you desire. Please try to take time to appreciate where you are now and how far you've come. And at times I think he looks down like, I haven't gotten that far, but you actually have. So 
give yourself a pat on the back for how much work you've already done. All right, now let's get into you and your person. This is for Capricorn. All right, so what's going on in your person's energy? Right now we've got the Queen of Swords in reverse with the Six of Cups in reverse. But wow, okay. Um, your person feels a little on the beaten up side. This is someone who's not been too forthright as far as, like, they haven't been able to speak their truth. Could this be somebody from your past? It could be. The Six of Cups in reverse is someone who's not moving towards you. So if some of you have someone that hasn't spoken up or hasn't been really clear about how they feel, I feel like right now they're going through a really tough time. You could be dealing with a Leo. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, we have a lot of fire, and I also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So the overall energy is the Nine of Cups. Right now, they're just in a position where they're, I feel like they're working on their happiness. The Queen of Swords in reverse with the Six of Cups, Five of Cups, and Strength. They're just overwhelmed, and I don't think they can handle their own emotions right now. This feels like somebody who's really exhausted. Now, are they unclear about what they want? very possibly the six of cups in the upright means somebody is being nostalgic or wants to offer emotion right now. I think they're just kind of shut down. If you're physically with this person, they're going through a really difficult emotional experience. So if you felt them withdraw, I don't think that they're lying to you about anything. I just don't think they can talk about it. Not all people are able to speak their truth. Sometimes they just don't understand what they're feeling. So whoever this person is to you, I feel like they're having trouble articulating what it is they're thinking and feeling. So they may be a little bit closed off emotionally or otherwise. Your energy is the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Five of Wands, and the Hermit in reverse with the Knight of Cups. I heard another reader say something yesterday that I thought was interesting with the Five of Wands. It isn't the swords. He, he the Well, it's a he. So He's like, the Five of Wands is actually them training to fight. It's not about the fighting. But to me, it's always represented some type of drama because there's five people in there whacking at each other, right? In this case, I'm going to say this might be a little bit of internal stuff. I think you've withdrawn and you might be afraid to expose yourself also because of how this person must be feeling. So in a sense, I'm, I think that you've been in an energy of being taught. So if they're actually being taught, that makes sense. Because you guys were in hermit mode for a bit, learning what it was that you truly wanted and healing. And then being able to move into a relationship with the Knight of Cups. So you may still love this person. You may want to offer love to them. But you've been in training, in a sense, to have patience as things grow. So... If you feel like you've, or you have been in separation, if you feel like this has been really difficult or it's not going to happen, I have a sense that it's going to come about, but you've been purposely kind of put on hold so that you could learn to love you first is what I feel like. Now, others of you, you could just feel like you've had to do some work yourself and that's why you've been with, well, yeah, that is, you've been withdrawn and now you're opening up. That's what I feel like is coming. You, now you're ready to open up to someone that is going to be hopefully available to you as well. But I feel like you're ready to offer love. So this person's energy is just a little bit confusing. My brain feels a little clouded. So whoever your person is could be a little bit clouded right now or having a really difficult time. All right. So it says, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. I feel like you guys, whoever this is for, that this makes sense, I do feel there's a deep connection between the two of you. Trust, the situation is calling for you to have faith. And then flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. There's engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So for some of you, yes, this could in the long term end up being someone that you marry. Your patience, I just heard your patience is going to pay off. So hold tight. Let's see what the advice is for you guys. If this hasn't worked out yet, I think it's because you had to do some work on you. You're learning lessons and your person has some stuff they have to work out within. All right, let's see what the advice is for Capricorn, please. <clears throat> 
Okay, so it's being done with anything that felt like betrayal or disappointment. This is being just over all of that stuff. That's really putting all the past stuff behind you in the lessons. Ace of Swords, having clarity. They're saying just focus on the clarity, the things that you've learned. And focus on releasing the things where um, people didn't come offering exactly what you had desired. And the Five of Wands is in reverse because you've learned the lessons. Now you're moving into a calmer place and they want you to relax into the energy. You've already put behind you a lot of this pain. Now you have the clarity around what's going on. Um, right now you need to open yourself up to the idea, hopefully you will, for whoever's in your life that you're not going to accept anything less than everything. And then the Five of Wands, this is resolving that internal battle. And they're saying you're going to move into a much calmer place. I think if Temperance was here, it would be perfect because it's kind of a be patient if you can while this works itself out. All right, let's see what's going on with the Lover's Oracle. This is for Capricorn, please. Okay, this card is jumping out at me. Let's see what it says. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. I love that. That feels very fitting. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Mm-hmm. And then playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. If you are currently with this person, that's definitely it. If you're not, and there's hopes for them to be back in your life. I think that that's going to be a way to approach it when you first see them again or when things come back together is to have the fun, be light and energetic with it. All right, last but not least, let's see what's going on with the wisdom of the Oracle. Oracle. That just sounded like Oracle like the whale. All right, a little bit of toughness getting these cards together. This is for Cat. Let's cut one time. Okay, so we have a fork in the road. You may feel like that's where you are. Maybe you're having trouble deciding whether you want to be in this relationship and it's going to help to know that your person's going through something tough. So hang tight if you feel like you, if you feel like it's worth it, I'd say hang tight. If you don't, then by all means. Building blocks. This is something that's going to build from the ground up. That reduces to a 10, which is all about new beginnings. But no matter what, please understand the universe is putting us in a position now where whatever we start is going to be built on solid ground. What we had prior to, anything that wasn't built on solid ground was being broken away from people's lives, torn out of people's lives. All right, and then we have not for you. Some, some of you, it's not for you. And then happy, happy, which is great. And then a message in a bottle. So eventually, yes, there will be communication with this person. Um, if it's not happening now, I the energy is, I can't give you a specific time frame. Obviously, there's too many of you to say that for. But at some point, I do think this person's either going to let you know what they've been going through or be very clear about how they feel. In the end, I think this is going to be really happy for you. The not for you is releasing everything that's not for you anymore. And I think that's more about energies than it is about a person or a specific situation. It's just about Anything that doesn't work for you, you're releasing from your life as you build something brand new. The new you, building from the ground up, recognizing all the things that you've been through where, not I don't want to say behaviors, but where you have either overgiven or felt like you just weren't good enough at times, that's all being released from you. Yes, you have some decisions to make. Obviously, you're in a different place. If you're watching this and you have watched me, then you know we work through getting you to a place where you feel confident and secure and that you can move forward and end up in a place where you are truly, truly happy because you're not going to just give in to any situation because somebody's cute or pretty. You're going to wait for the right person and know that there's an energetic match there. It feels good when you know who you are and you know what you want and you don't hold back anything. That's when the right person shows up and th that right person is there. Everything's going to work out in the manner and the time frame that it's meant to. But just know that happiness is there. Try to feel the joy that you have in your life right now with the things that you do have as this starts to unfold for you. All right, my loves. I hope this helped. I'm a little stuttery this morning. I haven't had enough coffee. But I love you and I hope you have an amazing end of November. And I will see you in the next video. If you'd like a personal, info's in the description box or the about section of my channel. 
Thank you for all your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.